that's just not how I get down at the moment. Yeah. I'm just saying because <laughs> realist. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? about my life while being open honest and transparent as much as possible so as you guys can see right today's title we're going to be doing a mukbang I have a series of questions that my beautiful beautiful friend my pagey poo knows nothing about which is gonna make it even better so we're going to answer some questions and just eat some seafood we went to a seafood spot called Sammy's that's near Paige's house and we're just gonna have a whole chit chat going on before I get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be sure to shout you guys out in my next video. Okay, let's get started. I have the questions here on my phone. You want to eat something or drink some water before I ask you a question? Or you just want to go? Let's get it popping. Okay. First question. Lord have mercy. Side note, she got some shrimp, but she took the shrimp out because she didn't want me to die because I'm allergic to shrimp. So I appreciate that. I I don't know why I keep forgetting that she has a severe allergy to shellfish. Yeah, but and I can die. Hell yeah! Let's like put that out there. Okay, first question. This starts off pretty easy. How do we meet? I'm answering? Yeah. We can um, answer both. We met in Mary Walton Daycare. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what the object was. Sometimes it was graham cracker, sometimes it was we fought over food. <laughs> Yeah, apple juice or graham crackers. I don't know. It gets like mixed up sometimes. But she stole something from me during <laughs> snack time. And we fought. <laughs> yeah. And we were probably like, we was, like it was three. Day here, so it was yeah. like three or four. So yeah. We fought. I got my grandma called. She got her mom, mom called. And we've been best friends ever since. Ever since. So basically we fought over food. And just very fitting. Hello. Who's most likely to get arrested out of all of uh, the both of us? Out of me and you? Yeah. I would say you, honestly. I'd say me too. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely What say would you see yourself going to jail for? Assault. Yeah, I see that of me too, but I see you doing it first. Yeah. And if I, I always feel like if I'm going to go to jail, it's going to be for something like, I mean, I don't want to say bad or but I guess it's bad because like you're in jail. <laughs> But like, yeah, I'm not going to jail for like nothing. Like it makes no sense. You're not about to lock me up. Like you're not about to lock me up and force me to do like time. For hardcore jail. Like this is jail, bro. This is prison. I'm not doing like years for like some BS. I can't. Like eat. shoplifting. My sis monetized now, so I can't curse my <laughs> But you know, I'm not going to jail for like burglary or stealing i'm going to hmm. nah i'm really trying to take you out there's no way <laughs> <laughs> well that answers your question mm -hmm. by the way all these questions we got from my instagram that i had people mm, i had people send me on instagram next question have we ever dated someone that the other person didn't like you yeah. know yes. i feel like that's what you don't have to say the name no yeah yeah we have and that's just is what it is. I feel like all friends, like, come on now, like we gonna be we're in our mid twenties, no specific ages are given. But you know, I feel like we're old enough to be where like we've been with enough people and it's like you're not. Alright, don't make like, us sound like I mean realistically, <laughs> like I'm not trying to sit here and say like oh we was just outside wilding. Nah, we wasn't. But you know, I just feel like we're old enough where it's like, yeah, we've had partners, like, realistically. And you're not going to like everybody that your friend likes, like, yeah. ever. You're never going to like everybody <laughs> your friend likes. Ever. <laughs> just, <laughs> ever. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Yeah. Who's more of a hothead out of the both of us? I would still say you. I'd say you're quicker... Okay, I will. You're quicker, quicker to lose it. It takes to you a long time it, to get it. It takes me a long yes. time to lose it. Agreed. But I'm quicker to physically act on it. Agreed. 
So, in a nutshell, I have, I would say, like my she'll patient, call you out. Yeah, she'll call you out. Like before you can finish your sentence, if something doesn't sit right with her, she's all right. She's not letting you speak anymore. Like. <laughs> What you said bothered her, and she's going to tell you exactly why what you said bothered her and how it's just not hitting. I feel like Paige, she's more of internally plotting how she's going to F you up. Whereas me, I'm going to, like, do it presently. Yeah. So, yeah. I hold it down a lot until I explode. She, she, she's not going to bed mad. <laughs> She's not going to go to bed upset. She's not thinking about it for more than an hour. And even then, if I have to think about it long enough of the reason, now it's over. I'm coming for everything. Yeah. Basically. Next question. Would you or have you ever had a threesome? No and no. No and no, but I'm going to tell you my reason why. Go. My reason for not having one is... I am Too confident, selfish. yeah, and not only am I very selfish, I'm confident enough to say I'm not secure enough to do something like that. I am, and I don't myself. even know if I want to categorize it as like being secure in your relationship because that's probably just not for me. It doesn't yeah. mean that I'm insecure. It doesn't mean that like, you know, I don't trust whoever I'm with at the point in time, but no, I just don't see myself being okay with sharing a person that I'm intimate with. That's just not how I get down at the moment. Yeah. Hey, what? I'm just saying because <laughs> realistically... <That's> <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> I'm just saying because realistically, like, life takes you places you thought you would never go. Very much so. So, I'm just really not in the business of sitting here and telling you what my life is going to be like and I have no idea what it's going to be like but no as of today and I am a hundred percent sure as of tomorrow as well what about Tuesday how you be like <laughs> what about Tuesday <laughs> but no I've never had a threesome I don't think I'll ever be a person who's okay with having a threesome I'm just really too much in my own head to ever do something like that to myself like I know I would I be setting myself up I don't know. Only reason, let me explain before y'all come at me. I'm only saying that no, I've never had one. No, I'm not interested in one. Only because I'm too selfish. In the sense of my romantic relationship. I feel like that's an element that if you want to do that, no shade to anybody who has done that considering it. Do you live your life? I just feel like why add another person involved when you two are joining the relationship to please each other? Because I feel like in the relationship, if a threesome mm -hmm. happens, there's something that you want to experience that your partner is not doing for you. So before I have a threesome, I'm going to just break up with you. Okay. And plus, I don't got the patience for that. Mm -mm. I'm good on all of that. I barely be wanting to share people with their own parents. I'm not I about better. to share nobody with someone else. Like, outside of, no. <laughs> Do you have a type? If so, what is it? I always said I didn't have a type, but my friends like to say that I have a type. But when you ask them what my type is, they all have a very different answer from each other of what I like to go for. I, but I will say, and here she on the butt, because you see what I mean when she don't like something you say, like. <laughs> but I will say that I'm a very open person, like um. I'm still young, so there are some, like, shallow tendencies that I am still, like, you know, currently unpacking. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like I'm, like, making a very good, like, I'm making good progress on that. But, um, I don't feel like I have a type. Now, looking at my history... You have a type. <laughs> <laughs> she said all that to say that. I just feel like the people I end up with or end up like messing with I just will coincidentally say. just happen to like be the same person but I'm not attracted to like okay. if you see all the people yeah. that like not all, not all <laughs> like not, it's not a lot but if you see all the people that I've like talked to you know on some just like calm like mm -hmm. this isn't going anywhere type of thing just and no then more. you look at the people that I've like been like it's emotionally mm -hmm invested in there's a clear line and i'm not a clear line between love and hate just there's a, 
<laughs> I don't have a type. Yeah. I don't have a type. I just tend to end up with the same type of person. It makes sense to me, and that's all that matters. Go ahead. Hmm. Comment down if you believe. No, because that sounded crazy just now. <laughs> I don't honestly think I have a type. Only. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I only say that because the first guy I've ever dated, or the, my first introduction into dating, if I'm being like superficial and naming all like the superficial characteristics, was tall. So I think from that point on, everyone that I dated at you that- You said tall? Yeah, tall. So I think everyone at that point, I like you if you're tall kind of thing. But then as I've gotten older and been in different relationships, I kind of now learned, well, eh, I don't really like you because you're tall. I like you because you do X, Y, and Z. All I'm saying is, I like you because of those specific reasons. Now, being in my 20s, I think I have been, invo been involved with, excuse me, different kind of dudes to kind of know, stay away from them, and then others. And I can see where this could go. But, all in all, I don't think I have a type, but superficially, I like tall guys. Okay. And also, there's a difference between attraction and like actually liking somebody like yeah i can definitely. be attracted to you simply because like it's off of like your physical appearance i and hate I people that go do off of like if i like if i'm attracted to tall people i'm attracted to you. you're an attractive person you have one of the characteristics that i like and like people that could be potential partners and i hate people don't mean i like you though but <laughs> i hate people that be like oh i don't see looks or anything and it's just like, no, that's a that's BS. That's the because that's the first thing you that's see. That's the first thing I see. Oh, I but, like you because of your personality. No, you grow to like someone because yeah, of your personality. Yeah, but that's that just like. because of that's when it comes into like unpacking those immature, childish, you know, shallow tendencies that she used to have. Like it's always, oh, my girl gotta look like this, or my man gotta look like this, or my partner yep. has to look like this, or oh, I'm not talking to somebody that don't have X, Y, Z, A, B, C, one, two, three. And it's like, well, as you get Pick older. The wrong right you know feel me bars <laughs> but as you get older you kind of seem like what that person has on does not like substitute that they have the worst personality agree in the world like Agreed. this is the worst person ever you ever come in contact with and you won't know that until you get to know them or this is the best person that you've ever come in contact with Agreed. and you wouldn't have given them a chance because they're not what you usually go for right. you know what i'm saying so i don't know it goes back to like as you get older you know you just start to see like for what's you realized. gotta go more than look yeah you gotta go deeper than that you, mm, yeah. especially off of first like first appearances and stuff like that it's always oh you like first time impressions it's not always about the physical like something gotta be like there too like you can't be a bozo and i think now i feel like I'm more attracted to you intellectually because I feel like I'm not 13, 14 years old no more. I'm past the what you doing, how was your day conversation. I'm past that. <laughs> so if you got to tell me that three, four times, we, what are we talking for? And my thing is too, I'm not saying you got to whine and die me because not to uh, sound cocky or anything, but I could take care of myself. So money is not an aspect. Same. One more time. <laughs> I can take care of myself. So money is not an aspect where I feel like, oh, you have to have all this money. Mm -hmm. And that's what attracts me to you. No, because you can have all this money and be a pure you-know-what. And you don't have to have all that money and still be a you-know-what. So I feel like personality-wise and just intellectually, mm -hmm. if I'm drawn like ooh, to you like that, then you could get it. You could get it. And what's the worst date you've ever been on? Let's see if this is the one I know. Continue. No, it's not. So you don't tell me stuff? You see? That's... <laughs> the worst date I've been on is the one that didn't happen. I don't know. Yes, you did. Oh! This, yo. <laughs> when I say just broke my no. little teenager heart. Like, I was just like. like oh my God. <laughs> taking this with me to the grave like i'm really taking this with me to the grave because like my feelings were so hurt i yo i think linnea was the only person that i told like what happened i was so embarrassed i was so sad and no like no shade well no complete shade he did not have no room 
to be like, oh, no, nah, I'm good. Cause <laughs> I'm just saying, if we're going to go back to looks, I like you strictly because of your personality. And we just going to leave that there. Well, she said that. And yeah. Do you agree? The, Thank you. The worst date that I've been on is the one that didn't happen. I got stood up. And then when I went on, um, what was it, Twitter? I don't know if it was Twitter or Facebook because that's what I was using heavy was at the moment. Facebook. I went on Facebook, I guess, and basically seen the person at a house party with other people who will not be named, but... And I'm not friend. I want to pull up on you. She not, but let's do a quick little one-two and be like, what's up? But that didn't happen. I calmly stayed in my house, cried my heart, my like eyes and my little heart out, and I was fine the next day. Hmm. she's still a baddie. That's on period. Yeah, Linnea wanted to pull up to the party. Yeah, like, might as not... well. We knew the people that was gonna be there. Not... <laughs> hey. No, that made it that makes it even worse for me. Like I gave you a chance and people know I gave you a chance. I don't open up to any like she knows. I don't open up to anybody and I've been like that since a child. She don't open up to so, herself. So, you know. But it's work in progress. She's working on that though. Thank you. I appreciate that. I know you're walking right. That's What's the worst day you've been on? Yeah, we not forgetting you. <laughs> the worst that I've ever been on, you know the name. His, I hate to sound so superficial, but his breath smelled like garlic. <laughs> and it was one of those things where you didn't know if it was what you were eating or well, this was like your breath. And this is an ongoing problem. I remember calling, going to the bathroom, <laughs> and telling Paige. Call me in about 10 minutes and like say something you got I gotta go so I could just do a quick exit. I might have eight four of them, but <laughs> <laughs> so that was like the worst date I've ever been on. It was literally just a date. Did Never you call me? I either had to call you or Glendalyn, one of the two. I was definitely most likely had to call you. But I definitely felt like I called you and told you to make up a lie about Nana. Or me mom. My friends call me to like laugh at them and get them out of stuff so many times. And she do it. That's the thing. That's the oh, A1 actress. <laughs> I deserve an Oscar. A1 actress. Yeah. The closest thing to award you're going to get is being the godmother of my kids. That's the closest thing. I can't get it really. That's for you. What okay. could I get with that? I mean, you don't got to be if that's what you're telling YouTube right now. No, what I'm saying is what are the incentives? Because, you know, an Oscar winner. Bitch, don't play. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been interested in the same guy? No. I think oh, we as each other? Yeah. I think we probably so thought like a, <laughs> yeah, I think we probably thought like a guy was cute. Like, yeah. oh he's cute, but not like I like him. Yeah. Listen. Like, baby, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> this is not that type of friendship. And I know we see it a lot where like and people think like, you know what? Whatever like floats your boat. If you that's have the type of friendship, me. that's gross. If you have the type of platonic relationship with somebody where y'all can, oh, I'm talking this person. Oh yeah, that person's good in bed. Da -da 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 -da, and they do this and then, oh girl, yeah, go. See, so you won't find that here. No. Like if I like somebody, and like my friend doesn't know that I like them, and I see them trying to talk to them, or they like mention them or something like that, calmly just, oh yeah, I'm feeling him, and back off. That's it's it. Li it's literally bad. You'll home. never catch us messing with each other's exes. You'll never catch us messing with each other's nexes or currents. Like, <laughs> no ex, nex, or current. It's really. And if I. If. <laughs> I personally just feel like real friends. Like, this isn't just my best friend. Like, this is my sister. Like, I've known her since I was two and a half years old. So it's like, that's. it's It comes to a level where it's past friendship you know what i'm saying like and that's like family like she's my real sister. loyalty is just not a thing at that point because yeah. it's unspoken for so it's like if i feel kind of wrong or i would feel like i'm in the wrong and being a bad person if i find myself growing attracted to somebody that my sister has messed with in the past is planning to mess with because i would know that because yeah. you would tell me or is currently messing with this ain't that you won't find this that here and so, i've seen it never mind mm. that is just really that's just not gonna ever happen 
And I know you never say never because life will humble you. Never. But it's like with her, <laughs> with this one, never. With this, never. I can confidently 100% say never. I, I feel like that's very grimy. It's shady. It's shysty. It's not what I look for in a friend. So if never. I see you doing that to your friends or I see you are the type of person who's in relationships where like uh, you could do stuff like that, you just not... The cup of friend tea for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I told you like, muscles. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Who's most likely to I send a drunk you. text? You. Me. Would she you? don't drink. Like, yeah. I drink wine here and there, but I'm not. Like, me personally, she's like, a dr social. Yes. You're a social. Yes, absolutely. Drinker. I'm not drinking because it's a Wednesday. No. I'm drinking because we're going out somewhere. And nine times out of ten, if I get drunk, I eat. Never mind. But if I get drunk, I just. Want to go to sleep or just have a good time? I'm not doing all the extra this. Nine times out of ten, it's me sending a drunk text. But I'm always sending it to Linnea first to, <laughs> to proofread <laughs> to make sure, like, should I send this? And I guess I could say I condone it because it's just like... It's Plenty of texts have been sent in the wee hours of the morning from my phone to Linnea's on some... Y'all, I'm drunk, but I'm about to say this. They okay. sound good. <laughs> and, like, I'm not looking for a... No, Paige, don't send this. No, tell me if I put the period and the comma in the right sentence. And we're supposed to. Have you ever dated somebody outside your race? No. Really? No, and I don't have any desire to date outside. I mean, I'm saying, well, I dated Hispanic guys, so I guess that counted. Or they was half and half. Are we, okay. That's what I'm saying. Because what are we, what are we, like, what are we talking about? Are we talking about, oh, like, I've talked to people that are, like, No, not dating, black. strictly dating. You talk to strictly dating yeah uh, not dating i've gone out on a date with a few people that were not black but i don't think i dating is such a weird word to me like what yeah is i've gone out on a couple of dates with a few people who were not black yeah. but i have not dated someone okay you know early steps of like i've dated going into like a relationship i've not dated or been i've in a dated hispanic with, guys a non-black person um, and do not have any desire to i've dated yeah i've said hispanic i've dated uh a haitian guy um jamaican yeah i've dated outside my race what's something that annoys you about each other so you tell me one that annoys you about me and did not do. you go first don't do that go don't first. do that go first okay something that annoys me about Paige. okay I think, I wouldn't say I hate it about her. I dislike, I think she, well, you here, but I think you overextend yourself in situations that I don't think you should. I completely, honestly, 100% agree with you. In the sense, not going into too much detail, but I feel like, I don't know if it's because of who I am, but I think seeing you and watching you in different romantic relationships, friendship, it doesn't matter, any relationship, mm -hmm. I think there are times where you can cut it when you know you're not being treated good but the hope that you see in the other person it's going to get better me mm -hmm. and that's why I <clears throat> this is about to go off in another way but <laughs> <laughs> because that's why i tell her do not tell me when you and somebody had a falling out but and i get I, that no, don't. i get that from her and i be telling all my friends listen you love this bleep <laughs> monetize monetize yeah. mommy don't you love this person not me so you go and fight with them and stick it out through thick and thin. You and if I've also had to come to the realization of if you only tell me about your significant other when y'all are on the outs, there's no realistic reason for you to not understand why I don't like your partner. Exactly. If I don't hear about your wins, if I don't hear about those W's, if I don't hear about those good times and you only reach out to me to complain or you're stressed or you're overwhelmed because of this person or this person that hurt you or made you feel exactly. this way there's no reason for you to assume that i would Any ever other. like the person that you like messing with ever so that's something i had to learn like messing with people romantically or like friends platonically i had to learn because she she's a therapist Oh, so, yes. and like, she, before she, like, went to school, she's always been, like, the group therapist. So, I just had to learn, in addition to just not burdening, like, people don't understand how much of a burden they put on their friends, you know? I've never considered it a burden, though. 
it does come off as a burden sometimes just in certain situations you know what i'm saying because you have you just have to be mindful of where that person's head at and when they're at in their life too yeah before you kind of want to agree unleash all of your like what you have built up on them yeah. so it's just you know be respectful be responsible in your yeah. friendship you know what i'm saying you yeah. should be checking on them and making sure that they good too yeah regardless agree. But, but like, that's the only thing. Just that, learn to like when you want to share your L's with your uh, with your person to your friends or to your whoever. Make sure you sharing your wins too, cause I just think it's we have had we we've been friends, sisters, family for a very long time, and I think there's sometimes where not that I see it before it's happening, but my thing is one and done, because my thing is the first time okay it's your mistake. The second time, all right, the third time it's a habit. We ain't playing baseball. We, we're not doing all of this. I so like I that. think if you're going, and it's not even a fact of you getting along with the person again. No, I don't like them forever. That can, just because they're your friend, they don't got to be mine. I know them through you, so I don't got to like them because She's of She's very much true to that statement. Yeah. So yeah, that's how it is. What you don't like about me or what you love about me? Um, There's so many pictures. I'm just saying. This about your One thing that I do said, not. I'm way too. Can I think? What the? F I'm just saying. Girl, don't start. <laughs> um, one thing that I do not like, which is gonna sound a little like redundant, cause I do it too. But I guess seeing somebody else do it's it, different. it puts it like in front of your face. Um, she doesn't like help. Oh, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. she hates help so much. That she won't even tell you that she's doing something for the simple fact of she might need help later. And she doesn't want you to just randomly ask one day. Yeah. Like, she just won't tell you anything. Like, it took her a while to tell me she went back to school. Yeah. Both times. Like, <laughs> it's, it's things like that. Like, she just, she won't give you the chance. And I, I can understand this. Yeah. Like, she won't give you the chance to let her down you know what i'm saying yeah. and i can completely understand and respect that i'm not going to give you the if you if i feel like you're shaky i'm not going to give you the chance to let me down but like she's so religious in that practice with people who are shaky to her that she does that with everybody like yeah every even people that she's not shaky with like bitch she you know i pull up and i pull through for anything and like she she'll still act like that with me too because she's just so used to acting like that with everyone else in the outside world that like it kind of like seeps into her inside world too and it's like monetize mommy but damn bitch like i ain't done you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> yeah but, that's yeah. a habit <laughs> i hate have when you do this little <laughs> laugh with all these questions. have you ever faked an orgasm <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> what were your first impressions of each other? I don't remember. I was two. You like two. I, mean, I know I didn't like her because she kept stealing my snacks. What the? All right. You don't got to say it though like that. Like I don't think y'all understand. Miss Naya News was a terrorist. I'm telling <laughs> you. You might have to bleep that out. <laughs> In my no, she was a problem at two years old. I was she doing was dumb problem. stuff. She was messing up the classrooms, pulling stuff off our artwork. I stuffed the our toilet artwork with off the walls, messing up the bathrooms. You know, like when you do like daycare, you have like your own cubby and everybody has their own cubby yeah. and they change your clothes and Yo, she would go in there and pull everybody's stuff out. Everybody used to, everybody's stuff used to be mixed up. Like, no, she was bad. She yeah. was very bad. I'm pretty sure I did not like her. <laughs> like, <laughs> I would like to think, I don't remember, but I feel like we was dope. Like, if, hello, and the friendship has existed for, not to give our age, but 20 plus years, I'm just saying. And you ain't tired of me yet, so clearly you ain't gonna be tired of me for another 26. Who's most likely to prank the other person? You. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> she forever doing dumb stuff. Like, <laughs> to calling or doing something to just, yeah, her. Yeah, that's me. And it won't even be like I'm setting out to do a prank. I'm no, really it's just, just <laughs> funny. I'm just, I'm me. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about one of our drunkest stories. I have one, but I'm not sure if it's the same one. Let me tell mine. 
it might be the same one because girl that night was <laughs> crazy <laughs> so we were teenagers and our friend had told us about something called Bacardi Hurricane so we was drinking that and we had something else I think we had Bacardi Hurricane and we decided to like that's the night that we decided that was the first night any of us have like made Incredible Hulk we was like 16 whatever 15 16 and one of our friend's moms I think was like a nurse yeah. so she worked like 12 hour shifts she would work the nights and stuff like that so like she essentially was like ever home by herself yeah always had the free so one night one of our older friends had went to the liquor store and we had got this Bacardi Hurricane stuff um hypnotic and um I don't even I have that's probably the first and last time I've ever drunk it what Bacardi Hurricane did I, I've never had it again after that but it I don't even know what's the in hypnotic it. and the Henny for the the Incredible Hulk and we started I don't know how or why but we started drinking outside directly in front of the liquor store we purchased our liquor from. And then um, I thought the, the, the guy gave us the liquor without checking ID. It was our older it. friend. She's only, she was, well, she's not our friend anymore, but she was a year older than us. Yeah. But she looked very much grown for her age, if you will. And also, you know, people just don't care. Like, yeah. they'll sell you anything if you go to the right store. Yeah. So, um... We started drinking outside, right directly in front of the liquor store. I remember us in our friend's house, and I remember she lived like on the second or third floor. But for some, I get in the elevator. I can't tell you what happened in the elevator. I can't tell you what went down in the elevator. I don't remember the elevator at all. Well, I know but her upstairs. All my friends that night that I like we're still like friends have sat here and told me that she had to drag me by my feet out of the uh, mind you I went from the lobby to the third second or third floor like she lived right there she had to drag me out the elevator they was waiting for me didn't find me so that I was still in the elevator and she dragged me by my feet from my elevator from her elevator into um her apartment and mind you, at this point, and we kept it was, after yes, that. we kept drinking. After and that. mind you, at this point, it was one of those things where we couldn't leave each other. Like, nope. don't leave without her. Don't, so, <clears throat> I'm just like, yo, we're going to get in so much trouble. Like, not only was we drinking, you lost her? Like, how? So, I would have stayed in that elevator all night, too, because I don't remember the elevator. <laughs> I don't remember it. But, so, yeah. One time, I lived up tough. I lived my best life. And I'm not. My teenage years was lit. lit. Okay. I wouldn't do them again. Teenage no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do, do them. my teenage years again. But it was lit. Next question. Who's more of the mom? I would say me. Yes, very much so. Like, I'm nurturing and kind of tough love and the protector, I guess. Last question. Describe each other in three words. For you, I would say generous. Determined. That's very nice. Authentic. That was very, that was very kind of you. You're welcome. Yeah, because you know authentic real bitch vibes. But, um. See, that's why you can't say stuff like that. <laughs> like, I would say. Watch oh, all this rule. Oh. Dang, you took one of my words. Determined. Yes. I will say, girl, hard work. <laughs> Oh my god this girl don't stop like she don't stop she don't have an off button no. it's a little scary sometimes and you gotta like force her like you gotta you gotta you tell down. her bleep me out but like bitch sit the fuck down like <laughs> you have to tell her to sit down because she will burn herself out but like girl like when she's on goal mode there's no stop like she sees something and like she has to have it yeah so determined hard working and i will say like you are like one of the most kind-hearted people. I know. <laughs> Period. You know the vibes. Oh. Just saying. I mean, uh, that's probably what three of a million in infinity that she could mention. But I'm just saying, I'll take those three. Okay. Ooh, that that time up. Lit. 
bird. <laughs> Coo -coo. That wraps up for today's video, guys. But before I go, you know I have to give a shout out. 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 Do, do, do. Okay. Let me go to the comments. Do, 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 boom. Pick one out of one of those four. Okay, so Trisha K. Manhurts. Yes. Shout out to you, Trisha. Thank you for the constant love and support. And if you would like a shout out of one of my future videos, comment down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.